Today we're going to image labels using a digital SLR camera and remote capture software. Some of the advantages of the software are that you can see a larger image on the screen, uh, the images can be transferred automatically, and you don't have to sit in a stand all day, so that's kind of nice. We use a label press made from two pieces of glass to hold the labels in place and to flatten them into an even plane, ensuring that we get the correct information from each one. The glass has electrical tape around the sides for safety and an 18% gray card underneath to make sure that we get the right white balance. There is no real formal set way of putting the labels into the press, but we always put our specimen codes on the right and locality info on the left and bottom. Type identifiers and determined by labels also get special placement above the other labels. So we're going to go ahead and use the remote capture software that came with our Canon camera. And once you connect it to the computer, the main dialog will pop up. We're going to hit camera settings, remote shooting. And once that shows up, we're going to come over here and click on live view shoot. So we'll go ahead and slide our labels underneath the camera and we can go down here and click on this little grid display to make sure we can line up our images a little bit more easily. And so we'll do that. And if you need to, you can go ahead and open up the press and adjust it as need be. So now we're going to make our destination folder. So come over here and click on the file icon, click on destination folder, and then browse and find your folder that you'd like to use. Hit OK. And a really nice time-saving feature about the software is that you can go ahead and create an image name template to be automatically applied to the photos to match your own specimen codes. So go ahead and click file name, then click customize. And in the first line, type in CASENT, that's just our academy code, prefix. The second, we're going to go ahead and click on sequential number down in the menu. And the third, we're just going to put an underscore and a capital L to designate that these are label images. So click OK, and then hit this pull-down menu and make sure you pick the right template. And we want to make sure we have the correct number of digits. So for us, we're going to go ahead and use 7. And we can also designate the start number and so looking at the screen we can just type it in and hit OK when you're done with that and you're ready to go. Now just double click here on the middle of the screen to make sure that it auto focuses correctly. Sometimes you need to move the autofocus area to make sure that you get the correct shot as well. Go over here and click the big shutter button and it will take your picture for you and automatically put it in the designated folder. Now to double check that your image came out correctly, open up the designated folder in which your images went to and check the number, the specimen code, to see if it matches the one in the image. And if it does, you're all set.